So back out here on the one that was contaminated, I got to switch out the R134 tank to a tank that I have just for mixed gases and contaminated gases. So that gets removed. About to perform the recovery. Uh, one of the guys out here was commenting on how full my vehicle is. I go, yeah, I, uh, I don't use trucks, I don't use vans, and I don't use SUVs. Because I did. I'm in San Francisco. I'm not in Georgia, Illinois, Texas with long open roads with people with residents who have all the parking in the world. Here, it's really common if you're an HVAC guy, especially if you do commercial, but you're automotive, if you're mobile in general in the San Francisco Bay Area, especially in San Francisco, every guy complains about taking 20, 30, 45 minutes for looking for parking downtown San Francisco and getting anywhere from $2,600, $3,800 a year on each vehicle from his employees just getting parking tickets. Just in parking pay. You know how many hours you have to work net net profit to make twenty five to thirty five or thirty eight hundred dollars a year out of your profit margin, not off the gross, but your net net to get taken away just to go for parking tickets. Not only that, guys get their cars towed away every now and then, and here in the city it's about $570, and if you don't get there in time, it flips over to the next day or a weekend, and you might get two days of tow away storage uh, for your vehicle if you're a mobile guy here in San Francisco. Uh, yeah, you could see, if you guys know, these are 500 foot scrolls of number this is number eight i believe i have or is this number six i can't remember which one this is and uh number eight uh and the refrigerant yes i do have a bit of refrigerant and some for freezer systems low temp and uh yf and the r12 i always keep in my i don't keep my r12 up there my r12 and my r22 stay in the car because you could steal all that stuff a tube of that or so I don't care but you don't want I don't want to get a tank of R22 or R12 stolen um, yeah I always have anywhere from 800 to a thousand pounds in my car and yes it is a Prius C as you can see a Prius C and all my vehicles I've switched over stopped using big vehicles as you could see it's not loaded down tires not bulging because these tires pump up to 51 PSI and I have nitrogen load leveler airbags on the back of here. So I don't get a squatting car or anything and I get all my handling and braking. And uh, the brakes on this last about 150, almost 200,000 miles because when you hit the brakes on a hybrid vehicle, you energize the recharging of the batteries which does the braking, not your actual brake pads. That's another maintenance item you don't have. And these tires last about 60, 70,000 miles and are cheap compared to big truck tires. So that's another savings you save by having a small vehicle. Yes, it is crowded and it's a little sometimes disorganized. And if you're an HVAC guy, you go, hell no, I can't do that. Or that's ridiculous. Well, here in the city, living costs are really high. You're not getting a house under a million bucks unless you get a beater that only has you know seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars you have to spend another two hundred thousand to remodel it to bring it up to standards for seven hundred eighty thousand dollars you get about an 80 year old house 50 year old house that needs all the electrical redone but if you're thinking of going into mobile business the guys used to make fun of me and, and like in the hvac guys would make fun of me but remember when gas went up to five dollars a gallon all of a sudden they're fleet started diminishing and guys started buying Priuses and other small cars the next year after gas hit five dollars an hour and so they kept some of their fleet big large trucks that's normal that's acceptable but they started switching over some of their fleet to small vehicles like this and some of the little independent guys started copying me and doing the same thing first they laughed at me and then they were crying for maintenance and the guys who know when you have a hybrid, you don't do no brakes, rotors, drums, or nothing like that for about 150,000 miles. And uh, you put load levelers in them and the right tires, putting the 1,000 pounds in the vehicle with my trailer hitch, 
and carrying another thousand pounds in a trailer when you have to go to a big job this pulls and does as much work as the largest truck van or suv bar none and because you're in a subcompact your insurance goes way down compared to a commercial vehicle so that extra $1,200 I'd be spending a month just on insurance for living in the San Francisco area for having the gross vehicle weight of a big vehicle, I save every month by having a subcompact. So I could take that to the bank every month that I don't have to work because $1,200 out of your pocket every month, out of your net net, how, much, how many hours do you have to work to earn $1,200 of net net? You guys who are owners of shops know what I'm talking about. All right, see you guys.